Did you know the simple act of chewing gum is an art form? Well, it is for one guy in Virginia, anyway. In fact, his offbeat artwork really has a way of sticking to you. Step into the home of Jamie Maricini, and you better watch your step. There's chewing gum everywhere. I just always have loved gum. Jamie, his wife, Raina, and their little girl, Marliana, live in a traditional suburban home near Washington, D.C. But the inside of this 4,000-square-foot house is smeared with gum. It's on the walls, the dining room table, in the master bedroom, the nursery. It's even making quite a mess on the kitchen counter. And that's exactly the way Jamie likes it. Why throw it away? Seems like it's meant to have another purpose. Jamie actually repurposes blobs of ABC gum. That's right, already been chewed into all kinds of crazy sculptures with wild hair and luscious lips. And he's turned his den into a gum gallery of sorts. By the time I was done with this piece, I was so tired of grape gum, I couldn't chew it for years. So how does he keep his chewed gum supply organized? In his den, Jamie keeps his wads of gum separated by colors in airtight containers where they last for several years and turn as hard as a rock. And one of the nice things about gum is if you run it under warm water, you can soften it up. Jamie has an entire wall in the kitchen devoted to the sticky stuff, like his two fans cheering for chewing gum. He even made a calendar of his work. I thought that only friends and relatives would end up buying the calendars, but it turned out that no one bought the calendar. The upstairs of their five-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath home is also glummed with gum, like the tulips Jamie made for Marliana's nursery. And just down the hall, this freestanding sculpture keeps a close eye on the master bedroom. Chewing enough gum for all of these sculptures takes years. Fortunately, Jamie has lots of family members and friends who help him out, and he needs it. Some of Jamie's scenes are made from as many as 4,000 pieces of gum. This is probably my, my favorite one. It's four feet across. It definitely has the most gum. There's a big belly here full of gum. And he makes those unbelievably long lashes with bubblegum coated wires. Jamie's fascination with previously chewed bubblegum began back in grade school. Gum had power on the playground. It was like currency. It was better than money. All grown up, Jamie is now an electrical engineer and has a software career. But he's also invented a chew by numbers kit, which he plans to market. She's going to be a major contributor, I can tell. It doesn't matter what generation you're from, everyone has a fun recollection of chewing gum. <laughs>